wonder. Mm -hmm. I know they're not worth anything, but you you Do wonder. You like <laughs> yeah, yeah. You wonder. Maybe maybe they could be worth something down the road. They're not hanging up in your house right now, Becca. Is that what you're saying? No, <laughs> no. The mom has not style? stolen these photos. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Happy Tuesday, everybody. It was another record-breaking day yesterday. We hit a high of 68 degrees, coming just a little shy of those 70s. Outside this morning, 37 degrees. Now, the difference between yesterday and today is that it's going to be a few degrees cooler, still in the 60s, and some extra clouds. But this is kind of the transition day because we are getting ready for some stormy weather, an atmospheric river event taking place from late Wednesday through Friday. Uh, the day that we're going to watch, though, that could potentially be a first alert day is going to be on Thursday. The reason behind it, heavy showers, valley rain initially, Sierra snow, and that will impact travel over the passes. Chain controls will be a possibility. Now, as far as winds, winds on Thursday won't be as bad as they will be tomorrow. Tomorrow's wind gusts 35 to 50 miles per hour, and temperatures are going to be cooling down as well, but it's really going to be on Thursday more of a precipitation event that we're watching. With that being said, this is a look at the winds for tomorrow. Notice those southerly winds picking up, like I said, gusts up to 50 miles per hour, and then winds should die down a bit overnight. Night, Wednesday into Thursday morning. Uh, the National Weather Service has issued a winter storm watch. That just is a reminder that this storm is coming in and it could pack a punch, especially uh, in the Sierra where there could be a couple of feet of new snow above that 7,000 foot mark. 7,000 feet is where we're going to start off with snow levels on uh, Wednesday night into Thursday morning. But by Friday morning, as colder air moves in, we could see snow at times down to the valley floor. So this is a look at the future cast. This is actually Thursday morning. Uh, heaviest precipitation is expected early Thursday. As far as here in Reno, uh, when we're talking about uh, rainfall amounts, a couple of tenths of an inch of precipitation will be a possibility through Thursday. For your Tuesday, though, I'm skipping ahead a little bit. For today, plan on a high of 63 degrees, partly to mostly cloudy skies. Uh, winds today 10 to 15 miles per hour. Highs in the low 50s around Lake Tahoe with cloudy conditions should be in the 60s from Yerington to Hawthorne Bishop. Out near Elko this afternoon, afternoon, 53 degrees, mostly sunny though for the eastern zones. It's going to be a little cloudy in Fernley, Fallon, and Lovelock with highs in the 60s. Now temperatures are going to be cooling down like we mentioned uh, after today. So say goodbye to those 60s. We're going to be in the 50s tomorrow and Thursday and then 40s for the end of the week and the weekend. And another strong storm Sunday into early next week.